Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Uh, I want to bless, bless the name of the Lord for your life. I believe the Lord has been faithful and he has been good because his name is faithful. Yeah, the word of the Lord for you this week. I want us to read the scriptures from the book of um, Galatians 6, verse 7. Galatians 6, verse 7. It's a principle that I don't know about you, I take seriously in my life. And I want you to ponder about you this week as we go. Not only this week, every day of your life. Ponder on these scriptures. I read Galatians 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, he shall also reap. It's a profound statement from our God. From this book of life, God is talking to we, his people. Whether you believe God or you don't believe God, is a principle that cannot be changed, cannot be manipulated. There's no way we can do it. The Bible says, be not deceived. So that means you cannot deceive God. One can deceive yourself. Friends can deceive one. But the Bible says, be not deceived. So that means, don't be too wise. Don't be, don't, don't be too smart. Now some people, when they treat people, they say, oh, I'm too smart. Oh, it's because I'm smart. Be not deceived. To me, that means don't deceive yourself. God is no mock. You cannot mock this God. That for soever a man soweth, that means all human beings on earth, for soever a man soweth, he shall also reap. That means if you sow a good seed, you will reap it. In a family, among friends, in place of work, you know, whatsoever seed you sow, you will, also, you will surely automatically reap what you sow. So in other words, we, we can ally that to we human beings as a farmer. You know a farmer, a farmer will go to the, uh, to the feed and he will scrape up the grass and he will sow a seed. If he doesn't sow a seed, whatever will grow up is grass. But for him to harvest something, he has put something on the ground. So the question for you that what have you sown? What you are, what you are reaping today is what you have sown in the past. And what you're going to reap in the future is what you're going to sow today. So today is an opportunity for you to sow a good seed. Because of what God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sow it, he shall, she shall always also reap from that. And sometimes it's funny that it's not only you that are going to reap it, your, your, your household is going to reap it, your generation unborn is going to reap it. I love the scriptures in the book of Genesis 8.22. It says that as long as the earth remained, as long as the earth remained, seed time and harvest time will not cease. Read that scriptures, Genesis 8.22. That he said, as long as the earth remains, so as long as we can see the sky, as long as we can see this ground, as long as you're still alive, seed time and harvest time. That means seed time is what you sow. And harvest time is what you reap. So I advise you, friends, throughout your days on earth, throughout your journey on life, sow a good seed. Because like I said, it's not only you that are going to reap it. Your generation unborn is going to reap it. There are a lot of scriptures in the Bible. Quickly, I'm going to make reference to the story of uh, Ammon and uh, Monikai. Ammon make a gallows. He wanted to kill the Jews. Monikai was included. He dug a, 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 a gallow for them. By the end of the day, the same gallow he made he dug for Monica, the same gallows that was, he was, was hung on it. So friends, whatsoever you sow, 
you reap. And when you look at that story I mentioned in the story of Esther, not only a man that, that, that was hung, his ten children was hung as well. Based on what? What he sold. When you look at the story of Daniel, Daniel was told in the, in, in the lion's dead. You know the story. It's a popular story in the Bible. People gang up. So don't be, be wise. Don't gang up with evil people because it's coming back. You know, when you look at this hand, it's one, the other four is coming back to you. So when you so when you're pointing finger to people, what are you trying to do? Trying to put people down, discourage people, frustrate people's life, it's going to come back to you, to your household. Like I was saying, the story of Daniel. Daniel, the, the gang up against Daniel, they manipulate the king, that the king should put a law into place, that whoever worship other god should be what? Throw to the last den. They gang up for evil. But the end of the story is that, and the following, when Daniel was thrown to the, uh, to, to the lion's den, God was on, on, on his, Daniel's side. Lord delivered Daniel. But the following day, those that gang up against Daniel, not only them alone, and his, their household, their wives and their children were thrown into the lion's den. The innocent ones. So I do the word I've encouraged this, the, for you this week. Sow a good seed. And as you sow the Lord, the good seed, throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout the entire your life, you will reap it and your household will reap it. God bless you. Remember, you are made for the top. On the top you will be. Have a blessed week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.